Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Today I'm going to be showing you around this lovely 1996 Toyota Granvia. Now this was brought in from Japan, it was imported into the United Kingdom in 2015, so about seven years ago, where Campers of Scotland converted it. They were the only uh, owner on the logbook and then we've only got one lady, so one lady bought it off Campers of Scotland when it was a couple of months old. She's showing, I think it's about, we'll work it out surely, it's about 110, 115,000 kilometres. Now the Speedo was converted when it was brought into this country in 2015 to miles. So it is tripping up in miles because I drove it back last week from Scotland. I tripped it and it's bang on accurate for miles. So when it was brought in, the last lady has only done about three, four, five thousand 5,000 miles in it. So when it was brought in, you divide it by 1.6. I'll do you a picture of the MOT history. So the first MOT, when it was new, or new to this country in 2015, is kilometres. So you divide that number by 1.6. That gives you the miles. And then the mileage on top of that is the current miles. So, and that sounds a bit complicated and overfluted, but we can work it out. It is 1.6 of the kilometers and then it's adding up now in miles okay yeah just one lady's owner's had it from 2015 i don't think she's actually used it because the conversion is brand spanking new the there's uh, inside the cupboards there's plastic in it the hob doesn't look used inside the fridge the compressor fridge again all the instructions are there you'll see inside when we do that section of the video but coming the bodywork is pristine. We've just got just a couple of little marks, absolutely been really fussy. 96, 26 years old, would you believe? So let's walk around. Alloy wheels, it's the three litre turbo diesel, automatic Toyota Granvia. Um, side loading door. On this side, all the panels are straight. There's no rust, no marks. I think there's just a, one little mark here where it's had a scrape on the corner of the bumper. Again, that'll touch in. I don't think you go to the trouble of painting it. There's a little dimple here on the rear. As you can see, we've got a two bite rack, Fiorma bite rack. So that just flips out like so. Let's clip back in. Uh, yep, yeah, being pedantic and super fussy, we've got a little dimple here. I don't think you go to a body shop. You could go into a body shop or you can get a dent man to bring those two out. Uh, on here you've got the mains inlet for the mains electricity. Let's open the tailgate while we're out. So yeah, that's the bed laid out. Um, I'll take over the camera shortly and then I can show you inside when the rock and roll bed is in the upright position. But we've got two seat belts there. We've got a lap belt to the driver's side of the rear seat and we've got a three point seat belt on the passenger side. And you can see all nice curtains. And here we've got the wardrobe, mains electricity, mains consumer unit, charger to charge the leisure battery, cold water and pump. Uh, on the driver's side we've got the fresh water inlet, that's going into the tank for the fresh water. Uh, on this side, can I, there's no marks really, we're really, no, this is fantastic. No, no marks or scratches there. Even the upholstery, the seats are absolutely like brand new. It's hard to believe these really do uh, are looked after in Japan before they come into this country. Original Grandia, over mats and underneath the carpets like new, all the upholstery, it's just beautiful. Power steering, electric windows, even the driver's seat is electric, so it'll electric only operate forward and backwards and tilt. Uh, automatic gear stick over here. Electric windows, not only do they electrically adjust, they electrically retract. Okay, front. No, again, the front, the, the bumper's incredible. I think there's a tiny little mark here. And one tiny little mark there. No, in fact, that's a bit of dust. Oh, it does look nice. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. So 
you've got the engine battery, you've got the leisure battery, you've got the split charge relay system, so it's all been um, fitted to a good standard. And this, incidentally, because it's Campus of Scotland, they have done a proper conversion. Uh, the last couple of years has been strange times and people have had a lot, a lot of time on their hands and have been watching these YouTube videos and thinking they can buy a base. We just lost the camera angle. Yeah, so people have been uh, converting these and they've um, discovered that you're, you're messing with and fitting electrics and gas on a second hand vehicle. And this is why people have been converting them. They've been applying to DVLA, they can't get it are changed on the logbook and they can't get the vehicle insured. That is not the case here. It's got motor caravan on the logbook so you'll get lower insurance and a higher value um, for insurance purposes. And the gas bottle inside has got a drop vent. It's safety inside a metal box. Uh, the gas works are proper piped up, no plastic pipes that I've seen. We have seen some shocking examples, but this I'm happy to put my name on. I'll even give you a three months total warranty. Uh, it was just habitation serviced a couple of days ago and the habitation guy was happy. He signed it off. He's just changed the gas hose to conform to the latest regulations and it's now got a new 12 months habitation certificate. Uh, it was MOT'd last month and the only advisory was this headlamp. Uh, it's okay now, but it's, it's just, I said it had some product on the, the um, it was just slightly dim, this headlamp. All it is, is there's a little tiny, there was a little hole there. So obviously, a, a, I don't know, a stone chip there. And it's just got a little bit of condensation in. So we've sorted that out, seal that little hole, and you should be fine. Okay, so let's just uh, open the side loading door. As you can see, the rock and roll bed there. I'll just take up the pop top. So it's very straightforward. We've just got two clips here. I've undone them for speed of the camera for filming, and we just push that up. And hey presto, we've got the pop top. Incidentally, this pop top has got three running boards, so you can have them the closed off at night, so you can have lots of storage up there, or there is room if you put a small mattress on there, two small children could actually sleep up there. Okay, I'll take over the camera and I'll show you inside. Okay, let's step inside. So as you can see, there's the table. And with it having a long rail on, obviously you can have it to the front here if you sat on the front passenger seat swiveled around or take it all the way back there. I'll just remove that now for ease for walking around with the camera. Yeah, it's all like brand new this. You can tell it's just not been used. This must have been converted and the ladies just used it a couple of times as a vehicle, as a car. Um, they're just my mats to protect the floor, but even the floor is like brand new. Paperwork trail. So we've got the log book showing the one lady owner plus the converters of the vehicle. Uh, now it's got an MOT. No, nothing in the way of service history as such. So my detective skills, I rang up Troon Tire and Exhaust who have just MOT'd it and they confirmed, yes, they've been looking after it for the lady. They put new tires on it last year. Uh, they've done various servicing and bits and bobs on it for the last lady who's had it for seven years. But unfortunately, due to data protection, they can't give me the exact, they can't print out the invoices without her permission. So I've wrote to the last lady. So I hopefully will we'll update the advert and have that information for you. I've wrote to the last lady and asked her if she can go into the uh, garage and give them permission. And I've included an, a self-addressed envelope. And hopefully by the end of the auction, I will have some service bills but feel free if yourself you want to ring up this garage and they will confirm what i've just told you is true for the registration papa 157 romeo bravo apple uh, yeah so just a couple of days ago i had a full habitation service carried out on it and just after the new hose and regulator it's all confirmed and all is now good so that's just the date that it was just carried out so that's a new habitation right okay so we've got the compressor fridge, 12 volt. You open that, as you can see. It's just brand new. Freezer compartment. The instructions for the fridge. All the it's, Yeah, that's the only way I can explain. It just is like brand new. Maybe the hob might have been used a couple of times, but that's about it. 
fresh one in running water rock and roll bed so we've got the three point seat belt to that side oh, and on this side we've got a lap belt storage under the sink storage under the hob more electrics and here's the all-important safety cage metal cage with drop-down vents in there as well as there so that's why it's able to be classified as a motor caravan as well as being issued with a new habitation certificate we've got a light above the kitchen sink what have we got here we've got main supply as well as 12 volts um, on here a leisure battery a leisure switch here this works off the leisure battery so we can press it once or twice for the two different lights ah we've also got heater controls from the toyota granvia section so standing up here just having a quick span out and these are the uh, mattress or boards as it were and it wouldn't take much to put a little thin mattress on there and you've got a bed upstairs for some children or you've got extra leisure space even the side door yeah that even electrically pulls in tight so just to confirm this is a 1996 Toyota Granvia three litre two uh, three litre turbo diesel it's just been MOT'd it wants for nothing really just another new owner Will that be you? My name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd. You can contact me on 0798 526 1078. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll show you around a couple of more videos. There's a 1996 VW Trooper. I'll be making a video of that shortly. Uh, that one's just arrived, 1996 VW uh, Clubman and we're going to take the wrapping off the bonnet and have a look hopefully the bonnet's not damaged but that'll be painted back um, that's a 96 model um, we've got oh this is a beauty this is another 96 i don't know why we've been popular with 96 models at the moment this is a 1996 vw that's had one owner from brand new 1.9 diesel with the pop top and it's only done 69,000 miles um, what else has just arrived? We've got an Auto Trail Tracker. That's a lovely little two berth. And the Auto Sleeper Dorset. Okay, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, folks.